guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday, also known as Magic Mail Monday. Today is actually a pin mail day. I have a big stack today of Disney pins that have arrived in the mail recently and also not so recently. And I'm just gonna get started on these for you. Most of these are trades. I think there's a couple purchases. I've got a wide variety of pins to share with you. I've got six whole packages, so I better jump into it right away and I'm not gonna waste any more time. And here we go. I'm gonna start with this box. I've had this for uh, I think a little over a week now. This is from shopdisney.com and this is their limited edition um, park pack jumbo pins. And these are actually the Lion King pins that were surprise released on shopdisney.com a couple weeks ago. And I know a lot of people um, have made videos about these, so I'm not gonna spend a ton of time um, unboxing them or showing them, but I haven't looked at mine yet. And there were two different variants of each pin, so there's two pins, two different variants, and I haven't seen which ones I've gotten, and I'm really curious about these pins. I love that it's in like the sophisticated black Disney park pack box as opposed to the normal blue one. That's fun. So let me just open this up. And these are Lion King jumbo pins. And I'm not a Lion King collector, but when I saw these, my eyes got like hearts in them. They're really, they're really pretty. Okay, I'm looking at them now and I'm like, they're, they're very, very pretty. And here they are. The general design of the different variants were the same, but the color schemes in each pin um, kind of differed. So I'm really happy with the colors that I got. I think they're really pretty. Here is the first one, one of my favorite scenes from The Lion King. It's kind of when Simba is channeling the ghost of his father, Mufasa, um, and he can see that really he is the rightful king and he decides to return home and, and claim the Pride Lands back. I love these colors because I love the blue, um, the blue and the green grass. I think that's really gorgeous. And then the second pin in this set is the one that I was super excited and the reason that I actually made this purchase um, because it's the I just can't wait to be king scene. You can see uh, baby Simba and Nala at the top and then it's got all of the animals and I'm a huge animal lover. There's giraffes involved and I actually co collect giraffe pins. So I, I wanted to have this one for my collection. I'm probably gonna sneak this in with my Animal Kingdom collection. That's something I do collect even though I don't collect Lion King. But this is such a pretty pin that I thought maybe I would trade it but I don't know. I might hang on to it for a while. Anyway, really nice pins. Just wanted to give you a quick peek at these ones. I know a lot of these have been shown on YouTube and, and all over Instagram and stuff already. Okay, this next envelope is a trade. This comes from Tanya. I've traded with Tanya before. I met her on my uh, Disney pin Facebook pin trading group. And uh, we worked at a trade a while ago, and I just wanna warn you, like if you ever trade with me, I'm really slow. I'm a really slow trader because I'm so busy and I've got so many social media messages happening all the time. So Tanya has been super patient with me um, for our first trade and now our second trade. And I'm just gonna pull this out and um, see what she sent. I, I only traded her for one pin, but I'm seeing a couple little items, so I'm curious to see what the extra goodies are. She was kind enough to include a little card. It's got some beautiful flowers on it. And also a really nice note, she says, have a magical week. I hope you have a magical week too, Tanya and everybody. All right, and what have we got here? I think this is the pin that I actually traded her for. I'm pretty excited about this one. It is a uh, piece of Disneyland history pin. I love the piece of history pins that have like a little bubble with a, like something from an actual attraction or, or building in them. Wow, this is a really pretty pin, you guys. So it's a piece of Disneyland history pin. It's got a little um, bubble that contains, I think, part of a chair from the uh, French Market restaurant in Disneyland. And I wanted this one because it featured Marie from Aristocats, and I love Disney cats. It's one of my collections. And um, Marie is actually a pin-on-pin -pin design. And on the back it says, a piece of Disneyland history, and this is limited edition of 2000. And she's also sent me some cute little extras. Oh, I know what this first one is. And I actually don't have this. I keep forgetting to, um, to get this. At least I don't think I have this. Now I'm not so sure. Um, but it features the two relatively newborn tiger cubs that they have in Animal Kingdom right now. Uh, they're definitely getting to look more like full-grown cats at this point, but they are really beautiful, really cute. And um, I love the colors on this, and this is for the 20th anniversary of Disney's Animal Kingdom, which is this year. And there is one more little something in here. I can't tell what it is. It might be a little figurine. I think it's a figurine. Cool. Oh my gosh, it's Legos. It's actually Disney Legos and it's an Alice in Wonderland um, Lego figure. And she has the little um, drink me bottle. Okay, I have to put this together and just show you it really quick. 
This is so cute. So it's actually a Lego figure of Alice, and then here's the bottle, and it's so teeny, but it says, drink me. I really love Legos, actually. My friend uh, Pam comes to visit me at Thanksgiving, and we do, um, we do Disney Legos together, so. I'm looking forward to see which project we're gonna do this year. Last year we made we made a Wally -E Lego figure. Thank you, Tanya. This is super cute, and thank you for the trade. I love my my little Marie pin. The next pin I have to share with you is also a trade. This is a trade that I completed, I think, months ago, and I've just been holding it in my pin mail bin over there, but um, I can't remember which pin this is. Oh yeah, this is from Irene in New York. Hi, Irene. Sorry it's taking me so long to, uh, to open this. And she sent me a cute little um, Beauty and the Beast sticker as an extra. And I'm trying to remember which, oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. It's a New York uh, Disney Store exclusive pin that I, I don't have. I have a side collection of New York City themed Disney pins. I have a lot of different side collections. Um, and I didn't have this one yet, and we were able to work out a trade. Oh, and I love it. It's, this is gonna be perfect. And here we go. As you can see, it's a Disney Store exclusive. It's actually exclusive to the New York location. It says, I heart New York, and it's got Mickey right there in the middle of the heart. It's very classic. Really happy to have this. Um, my my New York City pin collection is, is small, but it is growing. I think I've got one more New York pin that I'm gonna show in this video, actually. Okay, next pin package. This is a pickup from the Walt Disney World Parks. My friend Sarah Beth, uh, down in Orlando, was able to pick up a couple of pins that were recently released in Walt Disney World for me. So hi, Sarah Beth, thank you. Sarah Beth's Instagram is just around the river trend. Highly recommend following her if you're interested in park pickups and also she does some really cool crafty Disney things so she's worth um, finding on Instagram if you get a moment and these are the two pins that I asked her to please pick up from the month of September I think I think these were last month's pins and I'm really excited about them both okay so here is the first one this is the latest release in the uh, lunchtime tales series these have been coming out monthly at Walt Disney World and this one is Wreck-It Ralph themed. I recently watched this um, a few months ago for the first time. I absolutely loved this movie. I got such a kick out of it. And uh, the lunchbox opens up and there's a whole bunch of like crazy candy for um, for Sugar Rush. And then there's Vanilla Pizza cookie, which I love as well. Really, really cute um, pin design. I love these lunchboxes. I'm, I'm trying to get the whole series. And I cannot wait for the Wreck-It Ralph um, sequel, Ralph Breaks the Internet. Really looking forward to that as well. And the second pin that uh, dear Sarah Beth uh, picked up for me is this fall themed one and it features one of my favorite underrated Disney movies which is The Fox and the Hound. And here it is, really sweet little pin. I actually love this movie. This movie makes me cry my eyes out. Um, I'm connected to this movie because it, it actually came out the year that I was born and it says fall 2018 inside the log. And it's just a really sweet pin. I have a very small side collection of Fox and the Hound pins. I don't really go out of my way to collect them, but when they do come into my possession, I, I don't really let them go. I just keep them. Therefore, I guess I, I officially have a Fox and the Hound side collection. This will be going on my November pin board, by the way. Okay, I think I have three more packages to go, and I already did four, is that right? So that's actually seven? Am I opening seven packages today? Oh my gosh, I think I actually have seven pin mail packages today. I lied. Uh, if I get through seven, that's gonna be a new record for me on a pin mail video, but let's, you know what, let's do it. Let's go for it. This next package contains, I think, several pins. I recently attended my first live sale on Instagram for pins. I attended the Marcy Mouse live sale on Instagram. She does these every Friday night and holy moly, it was so much fun. I was like glued to my phone for like four hours because she was selling really fun pins but then she had like all these games and all these like inside jokes and it was really fun. So I will leave a link to Marcy Mouse's Instagram down in the description box below. She does these every Friday night, these like crazy pin sales and um, and it was really fun and I totally bought more pins than I needed but I'm excited to uh, open this up and try to remember what I bought but because I went I went a little bit crazy bought a little bit more than I than I thought I was gonna buy oh I think there's some extras in here we've got some uh, some Halloween Skittles that's just what my uh, my blood sugar needs and then we've also got this kind of Ooh, look at this cool Disneyland bag. Is this current? This is like an old school Disneyland bag. I love this. I'm keeping this bag forever. So cool. I don't know if you can still get these or if this is actually old, but um, I love it. Like, look up here. There's Pinocchio with Jimmy Cricket and Figaro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love this bag. What is in here? Is this a pin? Oh no, this is like a little extra. This is like a little gift that she sent me. That's really cute. It is 
It's like a Beauty and the Beast um, enchanted rose necklace. Check that out, I just love it. Huge Beauty and the Beast fan. So this is like a little um, like a little zap or like a little bonus uh, gifty that she threw into my order. Thanks, Marcy. All right, I think this is what I actually ordered now. I think there might be four or five pins in here in this little bubble wrap. So let me take this out and uh, take a look and jog my memory because I was just like, oh, I want that one. Oh, I want that one. It was, it was not a good habit for me to get into watching these live sales. It's very tempting when you're in the moment. Okay, she did wrap all my pins up in a spooky California adventure park map. It's got uh, Mater as uh, Count Trucula there, very cute. All right, so here they come in no particular order. I was feeling the spooky vibe, so I picked up this Tokyo Disney Resort pin. This is obviously of the old hag. I decided that if I'm gonna collect a villain, I'm gonna collect Evil Queen slash Old Hag. I'm not gonna like work really hard at collecting this villain, but I think that she's my favorite villain, so um, I wanted to add this and it will kind of be uh, a counterpart to my Snow White collection. Again, she is from the Tokyo Disney Resort, and it's a really cool pin. I love that the little apple is kind of 3D right next to her. Speaking of Snow White, I was able to get this pin from the sale for, I think, only $8. These were just released in the Disney parks, the new princess pins. They are beautiful pastels with glitter embellishments, and I grabbed the Snow White one, and I love that she's got her animal friends, the bluebird, the bunny, and like a little fox or a squirrel. So cute. And then in the background, you can see the castle. These are a really pretty series of pins. When I go to Disney next month, I'm looking forward to checking out the rest of the of the series. This next one here is an itty bitty pin from the Tokyo Resort. I think it's from Tokyo and it's Pooh and he's holding on to his umbrella and then it's got this little charm that's like a dangling um, raindrop and uh, she had a bunch of these and people were really excited about this and I I love poo, especially poo that goes with the seasons or like holidays. So this is kind of like spring rainy poo or maybe even fall poo. Um, I keep saying poo, that's kind of awkward. But I wanted to grab this one because I'm a big I'm a big poo fan. There you go. I also picked up this one in the Marcy Mouse live sale. I love Belle and I love her in her blue dress. I don't collect any Belle pin, but when she's in her blue dress or her red um, winter dress, I tend to go for those pins. And she had this, this is actually an Acme pin. It's limited edition, I believe two. 200. I might be making that up, but I'm pretty sure it's LE 200. And she's got her dandelion there. It's one of my favorite scenes from the movie. So really nice to add to my my small but growing Belle in her blue dress collection. And then finally from her sale, I got something for my uh, upcoming holiday pin board that I thought was really cute. It's a nice size pin. I'm not sure where it's from. On the back it says LE 900, but it doesn't actually say where it came from. Um, on the front it's obviously from the year 2004. It says Merry Christmas. Christmas 2004 and this has Mickey and Chip and Dale and Mickey is Santa and Chip and Dale are kind of in the chimney and then it's a big slider this slides open and you can see who is waiting on the other end you've got Minnie Mouse with a gift and Pluto holding a, a stocking with a dog bone in the stocking and I just think this is super delightful it reminds me of my family like Aaron is Mickey Mouse and Suki is either Chip or Dale. <laughs> Suki, my cat. And then there's me and Molly on the inside. That's super nerdy, but I really wanna have this for my, my Christmas board this year. And the price was right and I went for it. Thank you, Marcy, for hosting such a fun sale. I will definitely be hanging out there on some Friday night in the future because why would I go out and like hang out with friends on Friday night when I could stare at Instagram and be on a pin sale? Duh, obviously. Um, anyway, I will link to Marcy's Instagram down below. Check it out, it's, it's fun. And if you're not doing anything on a Friday night, you could just go and hang out in there with other pin nerds like yourself. Okay, I somehow miscounted and I do have two more packages left for this pin mail, so let's get to it. This one is a jumbo pin. I found this on eBay for a really good price. And this is for my New York City pin collection. And it also reminds me of the holidays. I'm pumped about this pin, you guys. It came in this beautiful collector's box. It's limited edition of 500. It's from the World of Disney store in New York City. That store no longer exists, by the way. It used to be on Fifth Avenue, and it's gone now, and now there's only like regular Disney store. Um, but it's from the year 2007, World of Disney, LE 500. And check this pin out. It's huge 
and it's awesome. So we have a very large pin of some of the Fab Five characters shopping in New York City. So you've got Mickey Mouse, he's pin on pin and he's hailing a cab. And then you've got some of the skyline in the background and then you've got Minnie and Daisy and they are like bogged down by shopping bags. And this pin reminds me of like holiday shopping or it kind of reminds me of like the Macy's Thanksgiving season. And um, I lived in New York for a long time and I this pin just like takes me home. I, I love it, it's gorgeous and it's huge. Like I said, I found this one on eBay and the price was right. I can't remember how much it was, but I remember being like, whoa, that's dirt cheap for um, a jumbo pin of LE500. So yay, yay, pin score. Finally, lucky pin package number seven. This is the last package in this video. This is definitely the most pins I've ever opened in a pin mail video, I think, before. Um, this is a pin that was recently released. It's a Pin Trader's Delight pin. It came out um, at the Disney Studio Store Hollywood, and you get this um, as a gift with purchase when you buy a specific Sunday. These pins are very popular. I have a small, very small collection of, of PTDs, they're called. Um, and this one I had my eye on, and I I was browsing Instagram and a seller on Instagram had this for sale for the lowest price that I had seen it for. I had seen it going for around $50 on Facebook and on Instagram um, and on eBay and then this person was selling it for $30 including shipping. So I jumped on it. I love this. I can't wait to show you it. Wait till you see. And here he is. It is Berlioz from the Aristocat and he is rolling around and he's got a big ice cream sundae next to him and it's super cute. They recently released uh, Marie and Toulouse PTDs as well. I would like to get the full set if I can find them at a, at a good price um, but I'm happy with Berlioz because he's my favorite. Let me just take him off his card for a second. And just so you can see the back, the Disney Studio Store Hollywood pins are the ones with the ice cream cone pattern stamped on the back. This one is limited edition of 300. I think it's a little bit easier to see his cuteness without him being on the backer card. So there he is, Berlioz PTD. Big score for me. Okay, that is it for this pin mail edition of Magic Mail Monday. That was a ton of pins. I love them all. I can't wait to like turn my camera off and put them all on their little boards in their little places. Leave a comment down below and let me know which pin was your favorite one today. They were all my favorite. I can never pick, um, but I'd love to know. And also, if you own any of the pins that I showed in today's video, please let me know if we are pin twins. I will leave a link to my Disney pin trading Facebook group down in the box below. Um, if you want to join it, there's lots of really nice people on there. It's a trading only group. It's not a selling group. It's just for trading because trading is fun. I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tuesday with a huge Disney small shop haul. I've got so many cool new items to show you for that. I, I've been hoarding them for like a couple months and like getting ready to do a big video. So that's coming tomorrow. Do not miss that. On Wednesday, I will have a Walt Disney World vlog. Hashtag Walt Disney World Wednesday. Wednesday. And um, I've got more stuff down the line as well. So please stay tuned. Click subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching. Have a magical day and I will see you real soon. Bye guys. I will have you here in my heart.